I'm gonna start ripping off the sheetrock now. And I'm just gonna take it off in sections because I don't I don't wanna take it all the way out all at once. I wanna see what's behind it and see what's going on first. Here we go. The insulation is not the worst I've ever seen, but it's definitely not the max R value that you can get in this wall. It's pretty thin. It's a two by four wall. And this is this probably covers about half. So I can fill that right up, help get rid of this stuff and put new stuff in there and get the max insulation that I can in this wall. The same for this outside wall. So a couple things I got going on this sheetrock and first of all these diagonal things right here these are called wind braces and what they're meant to do is to stop the house from racking um, in high winds or basically hurricane force winds it'll stop the top from going this way or that way and collapsing that's what those are but also this is another reason I keep finding reasons why I wanted to tear this place apart which is great because it gives me <laughs> gives me satisfaction them doing it the right way and if you look up here that's a wire that has been chewed through because of mice. Now, I already said that I re-insulated all this for and cleaned up all the mice stuff that was up there. I found a couple wires up there that were chewed even worse than that. So I want to replace all this wiring. It's kind of done funny anyways where it goes up. Um, I'm guessing that this comes right from the panel because the panel is right over here, but I'm guessing this is the feed from the panel goes up here and then goes up and then comes down over here and goes down here and then the same thing goes back up and then comes down over here which is kind of weird um, usually you would go well, first of all there's not enough plugs in here but you would go here or really over here go to a plug and go down here like go through the studs instead of going up and down I don't know why they did that and then come around here put a plug here and then a plug here probably a plug here too uh, just more plugs and then you would go to the switch for the light and up to the light and and the run that's my plan anyways I'm gonna have all this room on one circuit and I'm planning on doing that with every room in the house You can see all the mouse droppings here and the big hole where they were coming up and going down. They even tried to get through the other side of this wall. There's just crap on top of here. Just gross stuff. All this needs to be changed out. And I'm glad I'm seeing all this. Obviously, I don't want it to be like this but it's good to know that I'm doing this the right way. There could be, on the back side of this wire, I don't even know, it could be chewed up. Yeah. Isn't gonna take long to get right through that hot wire. The black is the hot. That's the one that goes zap and starts fires. So, glad I saw that. <laughs> 